Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Jay, and today we're going to be reviewing the SH Figure Arts TN. And this is one of my favorite characters in all of Dragon Ball. I feel he's so underrated, and I was really disappointed that he really didn't get highlighted in Dragon Ball Super. But anyways, you're not here for my thoughts on the character, you're here for the review. So let's get down to business. So... Right up top, it says SH Figure Arts Tian Shen Han. Here's a beautiful illustration of the figure. Of course, here's Tian right here in the clear window. It's different swappable faces. Illustration of him in the poses. Bandai Tomonashi Nations. Uh, Dragon Ball Z logo. Funimation. Toy Sticker. Warning. Move up top. There's nothing here. Illustration of Tian. Illustration of Tien again of the figure SH Figure Arts Tien Shin Han. Clear window says his name SH Figure Arts Tien Shin Han. On the bottom SH Figure Arts Tien Shin Han. Another illustration of the figure. Go to the box. Super modeling. It shows you um, him and his iconic poses. Um, he does come with Chao Tzu that you know clips to the back of Napa, so that's cool. And uh, here's his pose of doing. Um, uh the tri uh what is it called the the oh, i already forgot the name of the move how could i forget the name of the move <laughs> the neo tri beam there we go the neo tri beam um and there's him in a karate pose and all that good stuff and bluefin warning choking hazards yada 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 blah blah i'm getting tongue tied but anyways let's go ahead and let's open this bad boy up okay so when you slide him out of the package here you are you have um this confident smirking face the screaming face this angry um face you have child two of course the tribeam hands um i think this is the dot on ray pose like the two fingers pointing at you um grab hands open palm hands and of course there's tn himself looking awesome so let's go ahead let's get this guy out of the package and we'll start with articulation okay for a quick size comparison again i don't have any of my other sh figure arts figures on me but i have the dragon stars base form goku on me and as you can see, he is taller than base form Goku, which means he should be just a tiny, which which means, you know, the Dragon Stars series Goku is just a little bit bigger than the SH Figure Arts Goku. Um, Tien is taller um, if he had the stereotypical um, Saiyan hairdo, he would be taller. He is taller, but of course, because Goku spiked up hair, Goku appears taller. But that is him for a size comparison. Okay, for articulation, here we have TN, and right off the bat, guys, they did a great job on this sculpt. TN is really muscular and jacked, just like he is in the show. Um, he's huge. Look at those muscles. Um, he has a, a small amount of shading in the muscles here throughout the figure, which looks beautiful. Of course, you have the scar across his chest. You have a beautiful shading throughout the gi right here. Um, his pants look um, gorgeous. They look baggy the way they are supposed to. Again, beautiful shading throughout the figure. He did a good job. This kind of makes me mad. I don't like that you can see the, the mechanics here. But you know what? I'm not going to complain because if I'm going to have him on display, you're not going to see the back of him. But anyways, on to the articulation so here you have ab crunch he'll move like that he'll move like that um here head goes up head goes down full 360 this part of the neck does move i don't want to move it because it's kind of a pain um the butterfly joint that all the new figures have like that the joint right here at the shoulder as far as up as it'll go It'll do full 360, full 360 at the bicep, big old bicep here, bend at the elbow, 360 at the wrist, and you get 
the typical SH Free Guards wrist movement. Again, full 360, as far up as it'll go. Down like that, 360 at the bicep. Full 360 at the bicep, like I said. Then at the elbow, 360 at the wrists. This guy's jacked, man. Okay, this part, right here, the sash or whatever this is, um, it's soft plastic, kind of moves. Um, can't really move them at the waist. I mean, you can like that, but you don't get full on waist movement. Um, going down here, you get the new technology of the hip and the leg right here. So you can move the leg out like that, move it in like that, both sides in like that, like that. Leg will kick up this high up, that far back, this high up, that far back. It will open like that. It will open like that. And then for the knee, you have this knee joint. This does pop off. That kind of ticks me off. You might not like that either. I personally do not like that it does that. Reminds me of the trunks figure, but anyway, same knee joint. And then right here at the ankle, full 360 pivots. And then um, bends at the toe, but beautifully painted, beautifully sculpted Tian Shen Han. I love this figure. This is a really good figure. This looks really cool. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the accessories. Okay, so obviously when he comes right out of the package, he comes equipped with the clenched fist. And he comes equipped with this stocked face, which is like a blank expression. Looks kind of serious. Whatever. You know, maybe daydreaming. Who knows? Looks like he's thinking. Whatever. This is the stock face he comes with and the stock fist. Okay, he comes with this uh, smiling, smirking face like he just got the upper hand. And of course, on this face, um, you have the little vein on the top of his head by his third eye. And then you have this attacking, shouting face or powering up face. Or this is the face you equip when you uh, make him do the Neo Tri-Beam uh, pose. And then here's this face where like he's caught off guard or possibly this is the face you equip when you're re recreating Chao Tzu blowing himself up. Or this is the face that <laughs> you equip when he realizes that he's going to die by the hands of Nappa. You have these set of hands which they look like grab hands or martial arts pose hands. You decide. It's up to you. And then you have these open palm hands, or you could equip them so you could do the solar flare. And then here you have uh, the, do, the, what is it called? The, the Don Don Ray? Yeah, the Don Don Ray pose hand. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys know the actual pronunciation. And I'm pretty sure the elitist fanboy will correct me in the comment section, but whatever. Here's uh, that pose, the, that hand for that attack. And last but not least, you have the legendary, the iconic, the OP uh, Neo Tribeam pose. Okay, and then of course he comes with Chao Tzu. And um, it kind of sucks that Chao Tzu doesn't really have an articulation. Like his hands don't move, his head moves, moves up and down, goes all around. The paint's decent. But it sucks that you can't have him actually articulate or move his legs. Like, he's literally meant to attach to the back of uh, Nappa, if you have Nappa. And he comes with this attachment that clips to the back of Nappa. So you're going to get your SH Free Arts Nappa. This clip does go here. You clip it on the back of Nappa like that. And then you put him... Clip them right there on the back of Napa. And even though Napa isn't in the exactly anime accurate um, clothing or attire, you could uh, recreate Chaozu blowing himself up 
sacrificing himself in the science saga. So those are the all the stuff that uh, Tian Sh- uh, Shenhan comes with. And uh, let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, to finish up this unboxing review doohickey, whatever the hell I'm calling it these days, um, another beautiful piece from Bandai to Machinations SH Figure Arts. Another beautiful figure. Um, I like all the shading in the figure. I love the sculpt. He's as buff and as diesel as he should be. As you've seen him in the show, he's really buff and all that stuff. Um, he came with the accessory, you know, for the Don Don Ray. I, I think that's the pose, the, the two-finger pose for that. He came with, uh, you know, the open palm hands. You can recreate the solar flare. Um, he, he came with the hands for the, you know, the Neo Tri-Beam. He came with the face, you know, I, I, I'm i assuming that's the face that you equip, like, when he sees uh, Chatsu blow himself up. Of course, you have Chatsu. It's a shame Chatsu's not articulated. Uh, it's a shame that he's just a prop for Nappa. Um, but he's pretty cool. He's a pretty awesome piece. Um, I just don't like that you can see um, the mechanical... Um, know-how in the back of his legs i think that sucks but overall um i like the paint i like the plan the, the paint applications i love the sculpt it's a beautiful tian shen han um piece i recommend it to anyone you know if you pick this figure up you're pretty much gonna have to pick up you know yamsha and the rest of the gang but he's another beautiful um figure i think he's worth picking up go out and get him um he, he's not simply just a goku clone or anything like that um the mold does seem for the most part uh original he seems really buff and stuff i i really like this figure i'm glad i picked it up but again thank you for uh watching this review uh unboxing whatever i'm calling it remember to hit that like button and subscribe hit that bell so you get notifications when my videos drop and remember no matter when you're watching this where you're watching this Remember to always smile. And this is Jay signing out, and I'll catch you guys later.